could. Bitch, I bet I would. On the low, what's up with you, ho? Bitch, you smoking drunk. Bitch, you know, bust like 44 when I spit that flow. Cause we go. What is going on, guys? Seuss HD here, and today I'm bringing you guys a video on how to pull GSC files from memory. Um, and the reason you would want to do this is basically to get source from a compiled script file that is either A in an injector, like somebody um, has an, a paid injector or something like that that you want to retrieve the GSC from, or B, if they released only a GSCR file. Now, um, the thing with GSC and GSCR, I mean, I'm sorry, with GSC injectors and GSCR, is they always have to still inject a proper GSC into memory because of the way the game works. So it doesn't matter what security they put on it, you're always going to be able to decompile it. Um, so basically what you're going to do to get this GSC file from memory is you're going to need NetSheet for PS3, you're going to need Prodigy Debugger, which you should have already installed, and you are going to need your GSCR file or your injector. We're going to go ahead and use a GSCR file because I find it more interesting to mess with GSCR than an injector because I've already messed with an injector last night. So, basically what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to go ahead and inject it into your PS3. So, you're going to inject your shared project. We're going to use the Hunger Games because we already have the source, so obviously we can compare it. Um, we're going to go ahead and inject that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to connect and attach on NetSheet. We're going to go to search. Now here's the tricky part. All right, you're going to have to, this is not always going to be the um, way it's going to work, but we're going to go ahead and guess. See, this is the standard address for GSC injection. People normally put their GSC at this address. Um, so normally you can find it pretty easily. See, this is his compiled GSC. Um, and of course it was in GSCR form, but now that it's in memory, it is no longer in GSCR form. So the trick is, right, what we're going to do. Now, normally with NetSheet, if you want to find a GSC, if it's not at this address, you're just going to go ahead and go, and you're going to start at this address here, and you're going to want to go all the way to this address here, because um, that's generally the region they're going to be in. If not, just keep playing around with the offsets until you find where it is, and you're going to change this to text and you're going to want to find GSC. You can do an initial scan. See, obviously this is our file right here. We already found it. Um, this will find any GSC header file. Now, obviously if the text GSC is just randomly in memory, sometimes you'll get some false positives, but it's not a big deal. Um, but okay, so now once you have this, we're gonna use a little tool in NetSheet, um, which we're just gonna dump a memory region, basically. So what we're going to do is we're going to start at that address we had before, right, which is the start. And then all we're going to do is we're going to page down in the debugger until we find the end of the GSC. And you'll know it's the end of the GSC because there'll just be a ton of null space after it. So essentially what you're going to do is you're going to go find the last character in the GSC. And you're going to go ahead and hover over it to get the address region, which is 1005494B. So, 1005494B, if that was right, was that right? 494B, yep, okay. So once you do that, all you're going to do is you're going to hit dump memory, and we're going to put it as alt file types, and for this we're going to go ahead and say hunger games dump gsc save it, let it dump, um, way to go NetSheet, yeah, it's, so it's done, it's done dumping, so let's go ahead and make sure it dumped properly, um, documents, GSC Studio, maps, MP, game types, Hunger Games dump, we can go ahead and open this up with HXD to make sure it's, it's validly dumped, and as you can see, it is, we have his GSC file now, which is this, I mean, obviously, Hunger Games is open source, so this is really useless. Um, but I'm just doing, you know, proof of concept on how to do it, essentially. So once you have the GSC file, then you can go ahead and open up the decompiler that we want. And it may have an issue. It may crash. I haven't tried it with the Hunger Games yet. 
But um, we'll go ahead and try Hunger Games Dump. Um, it's successfully loaded, which means it should be okay. Yeah, and see, then it decompiles it. And we have source for the Hunger Games. And obviously there's still a couple errors in the decompiler. That's just part of the decompiler. But basically you'll have, this is how to pull, you know, GSC from memory. You can also do it with an injector. So, um, let's see. Well, I don't actually feel like doing an example on an injector because I don't think I have any injectors other than CMKs, which is on my desktop. And currently there's a bug in Windows where... For me, at least, I don't know how to disable it, where if I go to the desktop, I have a folder with my real name on it. So, I'm not going to go to the desktop. Anyway, hopefully this you guys found this helpful. Um, I will most likely leave a link to NetCheat in the description below, because this is really what's making everything possible. Um, and yeah, that's how to pull GSC files from memory after they've been injected. And for anyone, um, as I said before, if you can't, if it's not at this address, then somebody probably injected it at a different point. Also, to pull multiple GSCs, sometimes they'll inject it with a little bit of space in between. Just use, like I said before, just use, just search for GSC in that memory region, and um, you can find them. Hopefully, this guy's help. Or hope, yeah. I'm sorry, I can't speak. Hopefully, this helps you guys out. Um, for any of you guys who wanted to get source from maybe a page GSC or a GSCR or something like that. And um, if it did, let me know in the comments below. Or if you're on Capcom Monic, well, there will be comments below because this is going to be a post. So yeah, let me know in the comments if this helped you. Anyway, I will see you guys later. Peace.